Hello everyone and come back with Welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Velcro and today we're going to be reacting to more band made uh, with the song YOLO. This is the official music video. Um, I think this is one of their first uh, videos or at least uh, some from their first album. Uh, so it's going to be super interesting. It's always really cool to to hear the progression of band made and having heard some of their like their newer stuff. Uh, it's really fun to to sort of go back in the catalog and 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 listen to their other stuff to to kind of make a comparison on how good they are now versus uh versus how they were before um so that's always super interesting and i guess that without further ado let's hear it Hey. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. So, sorry, really, really cool. Something that I really love about what they're doing here is the ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, and then they leave like in a space where you have the bass doing like a slide or some sort of flourish or some sort of like really pulling some some really cool note. That's really cool that they leave that like that space right there. Um, I can notice immediately that this is obviously older. Um, this is, uh, like I said, I think it's one of their uh, songs from their first album. Uh, but I can notice it because of the outfits. It's like pretty clearly uh, these were some earlier outfits that they were or, or band made or made uh, clothes that they were wearing. I think you guys told me that they're called uh, they call them the uh, battle armor. So you can see here that it's totally different to what they're using now. Um, so it, that's like really cool to 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 see how that aspect has changed as well. You know the the whole sort of costume and personality uh, aspect of the of the band uh, during during the time <laughs> Again, as always with Bandmate, they don't repeat their, themselves. Uh, you know how I said they were living like this space during the first verse. Here on the second verse, they are not living that space. They are just playing continuous notes. Um, so again, uh, I always mention it with Bandmate and I know it's kind of repetitive, but it's always like a really cool thing to hear. And, and, and I always mention that they don't have to do this, but they do it anyway. Uh, and and if you are paying attention to that, you can really appreciate that they they don't repeat themselves, and that's just amazingly cool. It's not only really cool, but it's also super creative for them. From them, it's like awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, this. So yeah, uh, instead of now giving the these little spaces to for the for the bass to flourish, they just tell them, they just tell Misa, you know what, uh, go ham, uh, do whatever you want. We're gonna be we we're not gonna necessarily leave the space, but we're gonna sort of ham back a little bit so you can do your thing and go crazy on on, on the verse, and listen to the bass on the background like throughout the whole verse, super sick. Oh, 
<laughs> oh yeah. So I'm gonna stop right here because if I know bandmate, there's probably a solo uh, by Kanami incoming, and I don't want to pause in the middle of that. Um, really love the second chorus, the pre-chorus where you have like this sort of uh, feeling on the bass, like it's rising, which actually means a going down uh, on the lower part of the of the bass, but it gives you that feeling that it's sort of like like rising uh, uh, on the sound itself. Uh, which is really cool. I also love the double kick by uh, by Akane during the, the chorus. It's like super cool, and the harmonies, man. Like it's uh, again, it's really cool to see this progression that the band has had. But it's like right now, there's like the thing is that they have obviously improved and they are super good now. But but when you can when you listen to some of these songs, for, like some of these like older songs, it's really clear that they were super good from the start like you can hear the talent already and sure like i said they have been good they have been getting better and better um not only in their ability to play in their ability to write but also the production has been getting better and better because obviously the bank keeps getting bigger so they have uh, more money uh, invested into the production and, and the sound of the band itself but but it's just really cool to to see that the the talent was already there it's not like they started not being uh so good and now they're super good now they it's like they were already really really good when they started uh obviously the obsession will be miku uh as we know she uh probably i don't know how much she was able to play during these songs probably very little uh and i and right now we know that miku is like a really good uh rhythm guitar player and she can uh hold her own like properly without a problem uh even to the point that we're probably gonna be getting uh um and we might be getting like a miku solo uh sometime soon uh, uh we can hope for for that uh so obviously she has improved in, in that aspect but uh but you can notice that talent already it was already there <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Freaking sick solo by Kanami as always. I love the bass and the double key by Akane, the bass, the Misa bass and double key by Akane that are really locked into each other during the during the Kanami solo. That's just really cool because it gives you like a really cool melody on the background for the for the Kanami solo. And as always, I'm gonna go back because I want to hear it again. But as always, Kanami killing it with the solo. Super sick. Oh, I love that. <laughs> so good, man. Oh, 
and then the half tempo of course Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> awesome. That's really cool. Um, again, as always with Bandmei, the last bridge and chorus always go like higher and out of this world. Um, really, really cool uh, um, video and everything. It's like, a, again, like I said, it's, it's even though you can if you if you've been listening to Bandmate for a while and you listen to their newer stuff now you can see the progression they've made the sound is in a way the produ like i said the production is much better but they're also like really really uh better players now but the talent was already there it's like that's just really cool and something that i noticed on the video i don't know if uh, i will still need to watch more videos more older videos in a way but I feel like this video really, really focuses on Psyche, on, on, on Miku. Obviously, they are the front, Psyche being the front woman, uh, Miku kind of being the second front woman as well. Um, it, it's really cool that they focus a lot on them, a lot of, a lot of the camera uh, time is on them on the video. I don't know if it's because maybe the other members didn't have the confidence that they have now. When you see the new newer videos, they kind of, uh, obviously, they most of the time they're focusing on Psyche again, uh, on Psyche and Miku because they are the front uh, front women from from the band. But um, but they also do focus a lot more in the faces of the other members. And I wonder if it's something like they just were gaining confidence by this point, and and they decided, you know what, let's not do it because it might be weird. I don't think of, I don't feel comfortable. Um, you know, uh, if you focus the camera too much on me. Um, so that's like a weird thing, but also totally understandable and something that has changed, obviously, uh, with the newer videos. But as always, just really, really cool. Um, as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment down below what else would you like me to react to from Bandmate or any other bands, and subscribe to the channel if you can. I guess that will be all for today. Bye bye.